Hey, I'm Sean. I'm from Wellington, New Zealand, and I'm doing a latitude volunteer placement in Argentina. Hey, I'm Matt. I'm from Canberra in Australia, and we're here in a small city called Neuquén. Neuquén is a, 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 a rather small town of about 400,000 people. It's um, situated about in the deep south of Argentina in the province of Patagonia and it, it's really in the middle of nowhere to be honest. It's about 15 hours on a bus from Buenos Aires and uh, the, it's so different to Buenos Aires. It's um, a lot more relaxed. There's, the people are just so nice. Just, they, accommodate, they, they accommodate you so well and um, no, it's cool down here. It's very relaxed. Neuquén is surrounded by orchards. They grow a lot of apples and vineyards as well. At the moment we're in Tipoleti, which is a city right next to Neuquén. They're separated just by a river, so we've got to cross the bridge. So we're in the backyard of Karina's house, which is our local rep here. Mm -hmm. uh, she works in Multilingua, which is a language institute in Neuquén. And that's where I work most of the time. Yeah, helping out companies with English and conversation and then going right down to the basics for kids. And that, I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, I'm at St. Stephen's. It's another English institute in Melbourne. It's really small. There's three tiny classrooms and it's run by a family. So their mum is the headmistress and then three of her daughters teach there. Uh, so they teach English to kids from ages 8 to about 18. Um, so normally I'll be helping out in the classes uh, or doing one-on-one -on -one conversational practice with the students. So they've come to enjoy our, us being there and really taking a full advantage of having a, a native English speaker. Although Nelkin's a pretty small city, yeah. I think that that's also a good thing because it's pretty relaxed. Yeah. Uh, there aren't too many people, especially compared with Buenos Aires. When we were there for the orientation, it's just crazy. Mm. I don't know. The, the, the family base is what really drew me to Nelkin. And, um, here, you're, just, you're with a family, you're part of it, you get all your meals cooked for you. And it's, yeah. <laughs> all your meals cooked for you is very, very nice. It's nice to come home. You feel a part of the community here. There's definitely a sense of you're known. Yeah. And the families are always inviting us out yeah. to, with their families and their friends, so really you meet a lot of locals in the community, mm -hmm. which is really the idea. I, I've grown a lot more confident than when I was before I came here. Just You have to be. You have to be confident here. You're teaching sometimes 10, 15 children <laughs> who want to learn English, and sometimes you have to go ask for things in a different language. You can't be afraid to mess up because... If you're afraid of that, then if you're afraid of making mistakes, you're not going to get anywhere. You learn from those mistakes. So yeah, I think I've changed in that sort of aspect. I'm not nervous about things anymore. It's just what I have to do to get by. <laughs> and you, Matt? Yeah, I think that I've probably become more confident as well. You really notice that people back home, and English speakers in general, I think, are very reserved. The people here are just so outgoing that I've had to become more confident, more assertive. So I think I've definitely changed it in that way. So yeah, I definitely think I've made an excellent choice by coming to Argentina. I wouldn't, I, I have no regrets about coming here. And yeah, if you choose to come here, you'll have no regrets either. You, you couldn't go past this place. Really, it's one of the, one of the best places to come. <laughs>